probably around May or June, early June, I think everyone started baking at home. They were bored, so everyone wanted to try baking, and they, you could not get yeast in a grocery store. So I was able to source out yeast, and we were, we were out here dime bagging yeast by 113 grams, like to the gram, and selling it to people at the back door. I never thought I'd be a yeast dealer for a bit, but it happened. <laughs> first took over, I do remember going home that first weekend just being like, what have I done? <laughs> um, I, I'm, we're crazy, what, what have I done doing this? It took a while to really get our own groove, because uh, we did take over a business that's been around for decades, so early on, uh, it was busy. It's the neighborhood restaurant. The interior looks the same for the most part as when uh, people came when they were kids. Now they're adults bringing their kids. But definitely number one is the staff. How long have you been? 36 years. How, how many owners have you gone through? Four. <laughs> Who's the best one? <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, one server, Lorraine. She's been here, I think, 30 years. Uh, we have a waiter, Thomas. He's been here over 10 years. We have a cook who's been almost probably around 20 years. Those familiar faces, they're not changing. They see the same people all the time. And then we always know the date, March 16th. You see on the news, yeah, it's like this, you know, we're gonna have to lock down the province for a couple weeks. So I gathered the staff here and you know, we're gonna we're just gonna take two weeks off, we're gonna close down, and then everything's gonna be okay. We'll be back up and running, just be two weeks. I don't think it ever crossed my mind that we were not gonna financially get through it. And it wasn't even about you know, worrying about sales and, and business, it was about staying relevant in the neighborhood. So we just started out with a little bit of takeout, like the three to seven, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So we were only open three days a week. Melissa and I did it together. I'll go in and prep, get everything ready. She'll come, she'll answer the phones. We would bring our 10-year-old daughter in with us. She would be grabbing us pops and putting butter tarts in containers for people. Enjoy, thank you very much. We started doing um, groceries. We would post a list, a marketplace grocery list of things people could buy. As we started weighing out bacon by the pound, and sausages, uh, we'd bring in fresh produce, just constantly evolving our service. It was a tough year, yeah, for sure. I mentioned that Melissa was here working with me and my wife, and um, in May, she came in for Mother's Day Sunday, because we knew we were gonna be busy, and she took someone's order. She, she gave it to me, she said, I don't know what I wrote, and nothing made sense on the order. So she went to the hospital on Mother's Day. She had to go by herself, obviously, at that time. And then I got a call around midnight to come get her. And I remember picking her up, she got out of the car, and they told her she had uh, brain cancer. One second. <laughs> so in that, in that moment, you know, a, lot, a lot's going through your mind. Um, I think it was the next day I called a meeting and I had uh, Nancy, the manager, the cook, uh, our cook Greg and another cook Ben. And I said, I'm, I'm not coming back for a while. Here's what we gotta do. Here's how we post the menus. I'm not coming in. I need to be home. And within a week, she was in a surgery to have her craniotomy and they were able to remove some of the tumor. A few days later, uh, we went to Jerbinski in Hamilton and they said, we got a good sample here and there's no cancer. So they were like, this can't be right. This clearly is cancer. She had in her head, they're gonna start a treatment, um, but there was no cancer, so they can't start treatment if there's, if there's no cancer. So she went and had a second surgery in September, same procedure, same thing. This is a biopsy, there's, there's no cancer here. 
Um, so at this time, like she's, she is healthy, lots of doctor's appointments and more tests to see what it is. But as of now, she's, she's great. I needed this restaurant to still succeed for the staff. But in that time, being home with her was my only priority. Yeah, this was not my priority. Knowing that our staff were taking care of the place and knowing that they cared that much for her as well. It was very, it was a, the word I used for that was just overwhelming. Time of my life, for sure. Cambridge restaurant, uh, there's been a restaurant in this location for over 70 years. Anything you throw at it, uh, it's not gonna go anywhere. It might look different from time to time, but uh, one, of, one of my cooks says, we, we always endure it. We get through, we get through anything.